Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on expanding free brackets. So we want to expand and simplify this expression here. Now I'm presuming as you watch this video that you already know how to expand out two brackets and if you haven't seen that video please watch that first. Now what I tend to do is I tend to just concentrate on two of the brackets first. So we could either multiply these two brackets first or we can multiply these two brackets first. I'm going to just multiply these two brackets first but it doesn't actually matter. So, if we do that, let's put just a big fat bracket here. We're going to do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we've got this x multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So x times x is x squared. We've got the x times the minus 1 is minus 1x, or just minus x. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we've got the 3 times the x which is plus 3x, and we've got the 3 times the minus 1, which is minus 3. Now let's just tidy up that second bracket because we can collect like terms. So there's only one x squared term here, so we just leave the x squared as it is. However, minus 1 lot of x plus 3 lots of x is plus 2 lots of x. You could always underline these terms to make the collecting clearer. And then you finally got that minus 3. And now, look, we've got two brackets, and we know how to multiply out two brackets. So we still do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we got the first thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we do the 2x times the x squared, which is 2x cubed. x times x squared is x cubed. We got the 2x times the 2x, which is 4x squared, not 2x squared. And we got the 2x times the minus 3 is minus 6x. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket, multiply by each of the things in the second. So we've got the 1 times the x squared is just plus x squared. We've got the 1 times the 2x, which is just 2x. And we've got the 1 times the minus 3, which is minus 3. And then we just collect like terms again. I'm just going to underline these for clarity. We've only got one x cubed term, so that just stays as 2x cubed. However, we've got an x squared term here and an x squared term here. 4 lots of x squared plus 1 lot of x squared is 5 lots of x squared. We've got minus 6x plus 2x, that's minus 4x. And then finally, we've got that minus 3 here. And we are done. 